could read my mind. Love. Hello and welcome to another exciting video from Ken's Training. Today what we're going to be doing is working on a dishwasher and this is a GE dishwasher and what's happening is is that the the soap cup uh, won't stay in the uh, closed position. It won't close at all actually. So I'm taking apart the door skin in order to figure it out. So let me get behind the camera and I am going to uh, show you exactly what it is. Here's the dishwasher here and I've already started to work on it but let me just take this off of its straddle here for a second. So here you can see that this is a, a GE profile. It's an older dishwasher. It's probably eight years old. Now I've already taken off some of the screws on the door skin. Here is the ultimate problem. What's happening is, is that this won't close, won't open. It'll just break. I, I can feel it. So if there was Phillips head screws holding in the uh, door skin uh, here, here, and here and I put them I just took it the screws out and just put them on the ground I also have unplugged the dishwasher so the dishwasher right here plug for that is unplugged so I don't have to worry about electricity now um, this uh, handle needs to to in order to take the door skin out I need to take this handle off there's a Phillips head screw holding it underneath here so I'm just going to put this down. Oh, here comes our attack dog. Come to see what's going on. That's Tigo. Hi, Tigo. All right. Now I'm going to put this back up on the cradle, and I'm going to continue taking this apart. And hopefully we will have success, and we don't need to contact anybody for repairs. Okay. So first thing I want to do is I want to take this door skin off. There's a small screw, a Phillips head screw, holding this underneath. Undo that. Okay. There goes that. And I'm going to keep that with this, and I'll just put that up top. Now, let's see if this door skin will open right off. Actually, it looks pretty good. It looks like some insulation has fallen down, and this is the reason why the door cup is not working properly. I'm going to see. It looks like this insulation goes here on this, and just due to the age, this is very stiff and not very friendly. I'm going to just say that that's going to be the problem. Let's see here. Yeah, it's not latching, but there's no electricity or anything. Let's see here. Not sure if this is the. Uh, let's see, how does it latch in place? Oh, it may latch in place. There's an arm here that actually may be the latching mechanism. So if I just simply put the skin back in place, I suspect I may actually have it. Now, hang on one second here. I gotta put this uh, back in here. And there's that. Now I'm going to open this up again. I'm going to take a look at that, see where I, I can I can tell that I didn't do something right. Uh, okay, there it is. Now that needs to come in this way. So I'm going to pull the door skin slightly towards me. Uh, Still think it's sitting too low. It's it's like it's off. It's very difficult to see when you put this in how this comes together. But I can tell that that's not right. So what I'm going to do 
I'm going to hit the trip mechanism, go halfway, and then try to pull it exactly to the location that I want. I'm going to try to bring it up. Now it's still sitting too low, and it's not going to hit, and it was hitting before. Right, let me try that again. Okay, so we're in there. There it is. I had to bring the door skin up and then back. Now I can see that it's fully seated. I can clearly see that now. Alright. Now we're going to have it proper. Alright, let me double check that torque. Bring that back down to a 1. It's working fine. I'm not going to latch it because I'm not going to run a cycle right now. And there we go there. All that's working fine. And now it latches just the way it's supposed to. So the last thing I need to do is put, the, uh, put this handle on with the Phillips head screw right there, which is pretty easy for me. basically just going to live without this piece of insulation. It's a sound deadening and it helps keep the temperature in, but um, judging this is all just brittle and cracking, so I'm not going to make any attempted repairs on this. I'm just going to throw this in the trash and yeah. now, another thing that I might want to look at here since I've got my tools out here, is I'm just going to put the basket down and I'm going to take and look at that float switch. Let's see if you can see that. Alright, so I'm going to change your position there. Down there is a float switch. Not that mine's had a problem, but as long as I'm here with my kneeling pad and with uh, um, my screwdriver, looks like it's a hex head quarter inch. Let me just see if I can. I just want to see what this what this is. This is a float switch. So when the uh, belly, uh, the bottom pan here fills up with water, the float switch shuts the water off when the dishwasher has reached the correct level. So I just want to. Sometimes these get gunked up with soap. So as long as I'm here, why not just go ahead and take an extra couple minutes and see what it looks like? Mine actually looks really good. Yep. It looks really good. It's really no problem at all there. Alright, just wanted to take a look at it and see what kind of make sure it was okay. And this one is perfectly fine. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put that back down. Put the screw there. Put, the, put that on and call it a day with this. And we have the Dishwasher soap cup working again. Right there. Okay, that feels good. And that's it. Dishwasher is back to normal. And I hope you enjoyed wash watching the uh, video. Thank you.
castle dark 